Here, put it right here. No. Then, then I just can't move my hand. Yeah, you have to leave the hand there. <laughs> okay. I'm drinking wine for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're going to read, right? Yes, I'm going to read. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. First of all, we're going to start. Welcome to Evenings. Not on the patio anymore because it's too cold, so it's now evenings in the studio. And this is my studio. This is Liz's studio. Elizabeth Robbins, Shanna Coons. Mm -hmm. So we're here to talk about the advantages and disadvantages of an online course. So what are the advantages of an online course? Well... Thanks to COVID, you don't have to leave your home. <laughs> That's a good thing. <laughs> yes. I think there are so many advantages. You know, we all, how many times do we say we wish we had had something like this when we oh, first started so out? So many times. And um, at learning at your own pace, uh, the cost. Cost effective. Very so cost. So I, when I have taken workshops, I've spent upwards of, Twelve hundred dollars just oh, for the workshop, even more. Even and then that's not counting your hotel room, your food, your travel, your mm -hmm. play. So it's not um, unusual to spend two thousand dollars for a five day, or for a five day workshop. And you know there might be 15, 18 students in the class, and so you only get the teacher for what ten or fifteen minutes, maybe. Yeah. In that day. Right. So. Very cost effective. Well, and we've tried to keep our price on our course down really low as well, especially for the amount of for work the, that we put into it. But we want it accessible for people. Yeah, and the amount of content that we're giving. Mm -hmm. I think um, $39 a month for everything that we have on the site, I think, is I know really reasonable. <laughs> if I go to purchase something like that or a subscription course, mm, I'm much more hesitant over $40. But I'm a cheapskate, so. Mm. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and definitely learning at your own pace. That's, yeah. that's a great thing because you can stop the videos, start them whenever you want, um, make your own time frame for them. And do it over and over and over again if that's, if that's, yeah. If you don't learn something, you can keep going back to it and practice it until you learn it, kind of like playing the piano. Exactly. And you know, um, my mother and I used to go to and study with uh, Mary Jo Leisure, you know, back in the oh, day. She's a beautiful painter. She's a beautiful painter. I've talked about Mary Jo before, a huge influence on my career. But uh, my mom was a beautiful painter. She really did paint beautifully, but she would go to the workshop and with all those other people around, she would like, she would she would freak out kind of or, or get nervous. Um, maybe she put too much pressure on herself on wanting the, you know, the painting to turn out really well and impress other people. But the, the pressure she put on herself to paint in front of all those other students, um, made her not paint as good in a workshop as she did when she was just at home painting for herself. I think that that happens a lot. It yeah. happens with me. In fact, so much so that I've had to tell myself when I am out around people painting um, that I just have to uh, pretend like I'm a like I'm a complete beginner and I'm only there to learn. I'm certainly not mm -hmm. there to paint a masterpiece. And I think that's how all workshops should be approached. Yes, for sure. Because if you're in there and and the, the longer you paint and when you start showing in galleries and your name is kind of out there, it's really scary to take a workshop because then, yeah, it's very intimidating. It is. But I think it's intimidating for everybody to take one. And when you're doing this, yes, you can send in your work for critique and share with everybody. Or if you're not comfortable with doing that, you don't have to do it either. No. You can just keep plugging away at what you do. But I think if you're kind of on your own as opposed to in a in-person workshop situation that you're, you're probably more comfortable taking a little more risk in oh. your paintings. Yes. And maybe trying something that 
you know, may or may not work out because right. there's there's not that pressure to perform or look good kind of thing. So there's I think that's a huge advantage of the of these online courses. Um, one thing I would like to talk about is the personal critiques. Um, we don't have enough people submitting. We have um, some brave souls that submit almost every, every month. month. And we are encouraging everyone to use that. Now, both of us are pretty yeah, we couldn't, hopping with shows. so We couldn't do 200. We, yeah, we couldn't do 200 apiece <laughs> every, <laughs> month, every month. But we would, love, we would really enjoy seeing other people submit mm -hmm. um, and same people submit because um, it's so fun to watch your growth. I just love watching the growth of everybody. And I love seeing um, the good news in our groups where it share your good oh, news and people sharing their work and you can see improvement. And And several people have shared, you know, they've watched, they've submitted a painting for the critique and either I or Shanna has has given them the critique, but then they go back and rework it and then they post the reworked version. Yes. And, and there's always improvement, and that's really that's yeah, really wonderful to I, see. Yeah, that I love that, and I just love to see what fascinates everyone else too. It's great to do the lessons that we are doing, but I we love to see what you are doing with the information that you're getting. Mm -hmm. um, what are the disadvantages of having an online course? Number one, you're all by yourself. You don't feel like you actually have a teacher. And we really want to make that um, a non- A non-starter. Non-starter, kind of. yeah. We want you to feel like you have a teacher. And we're that we're here for you. We want to start doing a few more question and answer periods and um, the critiques, of course. And we both go through every week and check all the posts on the group group forums. I love the group forums. I, I do too. I'm, you know, I'm, Unfortunately, sometimes we don't get to them every single day um, but we're on there at least a couple, two or three times a, a week. week. Mm -hmm. um, but you can always email us privately if we're not, you know, through our email, if we don't respond to something. But um, something I would like to do, and we're going to figure this out. Um, I would like to start giving people personal challenges. Um, the, the one thing that I have always loved in art is art history and being able to pick out uh, kind of the direction that an artist favors, their sensitivity. And I would like to start giving more personal ch challenges. And we just haven't quite figured out how we're gonna make that happen. We have we have been kicking around some ideas mm -hmm. that um, I think come January, after the holidays and everything, come January, we're you're gonna see some new things on Inspired to Paint that are going to excite you, I think. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, we're so. going to, we, we just really want you to feel like we're there for you. Because we are. Because we are. <laughs> uh, you don't get to develop the camaraderie with other students from the privacy of your own home. But, but. <laughs> we have our group forums. Yeah. Tell them about it. Yeah, so the group forums is something, um, you know, I'm sure other online courses have it. They have their the private Facebook group and everything. But with um, those of you that... If you're just basic, you're a free member, you are you don't have access to the group forums. And the group forums are, are like its own little mini social media platform within our website. So people are posting their work and people are getting feedback and sharing their good news and things like that. And in fact, somebody recently said they love the group forums because it's a safe place. Yes. A safe place. They know they're not going to get you know, hated on, you know, there's no political rants on our site. Oh, there's my no, goodness, there's, no, there's nothing like that. It's all about art and everybody is positive. And in fact, you know, I guess I'm going to say we're, we're going to be a little like Twitter that if you say something nasty, you're, you're, you're going to, you're gone. <laughs> your, so, your little comment is gone. I guess I can't complain about Twitter now. We but. do want it to feel like a safe place. Yeah, for we sure. want you to feel like you're developing your confidence and you're enjoying what you do, enjoying, enjoying. 
So I, we love we love what we're doing. We want you to love what you're doing. We do. And you know, there are friendships are starting to be made through yeah, the group forums. So people that. that never would have met before, met in person, um, and, and have never met in person, but have gotten to know each other because of the group forums and seeing the paintings. And that's that's what I love about art, that art connects people. Oh, and we've had fun doing our member spotlight too. Yeah. We just got off the phone with Gary Bahan and that was just wonderful. It it's was, so fun to talk to you guys through the forums and then to really get to know you. Donna Kalesser, um, Terry, we we just have had some really great interviews. That's That's been fun. Yeah. It's one thing to converse back and forth through email and Facebook Messenger and stuff like that, but to those to be able to talk face to face yep. was wonderful, and he Put enjoyed it as well. It. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we really enjoyed that. Can I tell a little story about how art connects people? Of course. So, uh, so I got orders for some DVDs, and um, you know how busy I am. But anyway, I had I act, I got two orders one day, and so I was putting them together. And I shipped them off in a hurry because I was going somewhere or whatever. Anyway, I, <laughs> the same day, I got emails from both people saying, I think my order got mixed up. And she got his and he got <laughs> hers. Like, oh, my gosh, I'm so sorry. And they said, do you want us to send back the video? I said, no, no, keep the videos. You know, that's, you know, my gift to you. And, you know, let me go ahead and send you the, the, right, the, the one. right ones. But she, she said to me, she says, you know, I called and left you a message and so I said, you know, I don't show any message at all. And she says, oh, you know what? What I did was I actually called the, the, the guy, person. the guy, <laughs> and they got to talking. She says, I feel like I've made a new friend. Oh, the, I love that. <laughs> well, maybe that was meant to be, though. I was supposed to switch up those. Well, we were just talking about that. We work in a bubble. We were, yeah. you know, when you're painting, you're painting alone most of the time. And... It, it's really hard to be objective about your own work, and it's not nearly as fun as when you have somebody else to paint with. That's so. Do you know we're both wearing black? We did no. not plan it. No, but you're a lot. You look a lot cuter than I do. Oh, bah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The disadvantage of an online course is you. There is not a specific designated time slot to plan around. Like sometimes, if you have a class in your hometown, you know that every Tuesday night at seven o'clock where you're going to be, mm -hmm. you're going to have to do this on your own. You're going to have to figure out your time slot. Um, and routine sometimes is really important, finding a specific time and then you can tell your family, leave me alone, I'm working. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and then some people like to do it on the fly. You know, maybe you don't have a lot of time so you try and squeeze it in. Mm -hmm. that, that works for an online course because you can do both. But you do it at your own pace. The more you paint, the better you get. The better you get. The faster you get it. The yeah. get there. The faster you reach your goals. Another problem, disadvantage of an online course is there's no one to hold you accountable for your homework. <laughs> yeah, you don't. Get, we don't grade you. <laughs> yeah, but we might yeah. hold you accountable. We might. I don't know. That might come with our next little, the projects that I give. and Yeah. Um, you know what's sometimes hard for me to, um, I have a hard time with is, is knowing that there's some people out there that just, that just do this for fun. And it's, it's just a hobby. It's here and there. And it's not the most important thing in their life. And that's the way they want it. Right. And I, and that, yeah. And that's fine. Um, for me, you know, other than my kids and my new grandbaby, this this is Life. pretty important yeah. <laughs> to me, so I'm pretty dedicated to it. Well, we've both been that way from day one, too. We haven't had a choice. Well, it was just something that, we, well, we had a choice. Well, we, we could have gotten another job and given it up. You're right. But we, we, but we loved it. We both loved it so much that right. we knew right. we had to make a way to make yeah. it happen. Yeah, um, so, but that doesn't make it right either. That I mean, everybody comes to this from a different place, and everybody wants something different out of it. Right, and they're all it's all okay. Right, and so anyway, if I if I if you ever feel like I've pressured you or anything, I apologize because that's not my intent. It's just I come from it from this side, and I've got I probably need to do better to understand that. I think a little pressure is good. <laughs> I think a little, you know, that's what we do for each other. 
especially with our challenges and yeah. stuff, we push each other and you it's pretty hard to get better unless you are taking those challenges. That's true. And um, being hold hold yourself accountable. Mm-hmm. And if there is at any point in time that you need us to hold you accountable for something, we are right there for you. <laughs> we can be meanies too. No, I not can really. be mean, not Shanna. <laughs> Shanna cannot be mean if she tried. Okay, disadvantage of an online course. Some people dislike subscription contracts. That's true. We've we've heard that a few times, mm-hmm. but you know, that's why we also offer the lessons as a download. Well, and it's not a contract. You yeah. don't, uh, you well, you, true. You can cancel at any time. We've made it very easy. If if it's moving too quickly for you and you want to take a month and study everything you can and take a month off to incorporate that mm-hmm. and then come back a month later, that's, that's fine with that's us. Fine. You know, there's a lot of the like the year long mentorship programs that are out there by you know a lot of our friends are doing that and i Mm -hmm. think that's awesome but i think a lot of people might hesitate to spend seven or eight hundred dollars i would you know and commit to that year i mean that's a pretty big commitment i'd love to do it but there's a few i would Um, absolutely love to take yeah but i have that i have a problem with that i to commit that 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 quantity of of money and and that time time yeah, but that, I think that's why the the monthly thing is a really good alternative because you know you're only committing for a month and let yeah. us know what you think. We we are very interested in knowing um, how it's working for you. So um, we are this close to um, having our six month packages available yes. as well. So if you don't want to do the subscription. The, the subscription we are we're just I'm, i've been building the products on the website but um so we're very close to having that where you could buy a six-month package and have all six months of the all access or the the full-length videos and the concept lessons for that six-month time period either mine or shanna's so that's another option that i mean we're giving you so many options well that's what that's how i had to learn that's how you had to learn so that's what we're giving back is something that we would have liked to have mm-hmm. had. Mm-hmm. Um, you have to paint what the teacher is painting. No. no, you don't. But watch carefully so that you can apply the concepts, especially with the concept lessons. Apply it to what you love to do. Yeah, in fact, um, the, the October's lessons of the warm light versus cool light that mm-hmm. I did with the copper kettle, one of the students gosh, she did it like within the next day or she had something posted. She did a warm version and a cool version, but it was of her setup, but similar objects. I love that. And yeah, and I love that too. So you don't always have to copy our paintings. You just take what we learn in that course and apply it to to something that you do mm-hmm. on your own, to your fo- own photo or flowers or whatever. You know what? I always had a hard time when I took classes, when I was very first learning is I would work at home and I'd work on a painting that I was really happy with and I would bring it to class and the teacher would paint on it (laughs) and take out everything I had done. Yes, I know that sometimes that has to be, but I used to go home so frustrated that I swore I would never do that to anyone. So Um, I guess that's an advantage. We don't ever have the opportunity to paint paint on on your painting. (laughs) And yet, we'd be happy to do the critique and show you how we would do it. But it's up to you to make those changes, and that that's a good thing because you're getting you're gaining firsthand knowledge of all of it. Um, new to the course, one hour and two hour portfolio review with personal direction. I'm just waiting for a photograph for you from you, so that I can make it live. What? <laughs> What are you talking about? Remember I told you I needed a photograph for the portfolio review? No. I don't remember. We were probably... We had wine? We had wine. But, yes, expect that anytime soon. Yes, we we would like to offer one hour and two hour Mm -hmm. portfolio reviews. Now, that would include going through at least a dozen pieces, a body of work. We'll call it a body of work. Mm -hmm. Um, seeing what you do best, 
talking to you, finding out where you want to go, where you want to be with it, um, and figuring out a plan on how to get there. And it also means us, I talked earlier about the art history and finding somebody, a master with a similar vein, people for you to not paint like, but emulate to gain knowledge from other than the two of us, because there's masters that you most certainly can gain. I, I mean, I paint with Twatman by my side or Dwight Tryon by my side with my books. Um, it just helps you get better so much faster. Mm -hmm. And we'd like to be able to give you that kind of direction. Um, and, and I did this recently for the American Women Artists. Did I talk about this in the last? I don't think so. So yeah, the American Women Artists, they, I had, they assigned me five people to review their work and their portfolios or websites and everything. And I got such positive feedback from the people. But the one thing um, that maybe not come to mind is about, you know, if you, if you do have a website and things like that, for us to take a look at your website and mm -hmm. give you ideas or things that you need to do to clean it up or make it more cohesive or something like that. So definitely some um, business sense business if that's sense, the direction yeah. that, that you want to go to. So this is this will this is above and beyond what you get in the in the group critiques. So this is finding your own voice, yeah. really developing your own voice. Um, I call it peeling the layers off of the onion. Um, why do you want to do this? What, what is it about, say you tell me that you just love painting um, light and shadow patterns. What is that about? What does that really, really get to in your life? What personal story comes out through that and how can you build that bigger and make it more in depth so that your work has an emotional feeling that says you? That's, a, that's it's very a, important. It's very important. Um, yeah, we will help you with your goals and give our best advice on how to get there. So we're kind of figuring, you know, we want to keep this affordable too, um, even though we still have our uh, gallery careers as well. But so we're kind of thinking about a hundred dollars for one hour and a hundred dollars, a hundred and fifty for two hours. Yeah. So and we would just schedule that. We could. And it would be two one-hour sessions, not yes. two hours all at once. It would be two one-hour right. sessions, yeah. And we'd ha probably have to have a limit on how many we do a month. Mm -hmm. But I think it could really, I, I mean, that's what I, I have some mentors I would love I to would sit have down loved with to have for an, an hour. hour. Yeah. Just to and pick our brains, a ask us. Uh, we were telling Gary earlier, we both have been down every path <laughs> that there possibly is in order to try and make a living at doing this and mm -hmm. learn to be the best that we've been. And we want to share that with you. Yeah, for sure. Um, a coming soon, the business workshop. Mm -hmm. We are going to do, we're going to put that together and we'll probably do it in a workshop setting we have all kinds of ideas. There's just, yes, we say this every single time we I have know. these evenings on the patio. I went this morning, I texted Shanna and said, are you, are you out of bed? <laughs> no, but I am awake. I said, I got to come talk to you. I just have, I'm just doing my homework in bed. I said, can I come for coffee? <laughs> she says, yes, come on over. So I go over there. She's still in bed. But, you know, I, I had this idea. And so I had to rush over and I, and we sat and talked about it and we're like, all these ideas. I said, did you write it down? Did you write it down? Because we'll forget it. And she said, no, I came over to tell you. So, so you would write it down. Like, um, I have a worse memory than you. <laughs> but uh, we do have some fun, some really fun ideas that we're going to start implementing that we're really excited about. Yes. And we want to hear from you too. We want to hear if you have a suggestion or you have something that an idea that you think is really a fun idea for everybody to learn from, please let us know, tell us, because we're we're open to all of that. Mm -hmm. uh, so the business workshop is definitely something we're interested in. I am interested in doing a dynamic symmetry workshop. Um, and I've said before, I know I've tinkered with this in some of the classes, that, but 
I have to know it so well that to teach it. So I'm still assimilating information um, before I put together a program to teach it. But that's coming soon. And so is the Joseph Albers theory. I really want to do a Joseph Albers color theory workshop as well because it is, um, you know, you put the drawing technical aspect aside and that's all you're doing is working with color, the push and pull of color and how to change a value, how to flip a temperature. Um, it'll be pretty in depth. And so we'll do that in a workshop. What kind of ideas do you have for a workshop? Well, I know I've had, I've got to do a rooster. And you've got to do a figures. And you've got to yeah, do some and figures. do a figure a portrait. So December's, I already have planned. January's will probably definitely be the rooster. Yeah. And in February, I'm probably going to um, start in portraiture. And then, and then come springtime, my flowers will start blooming again. Yes. <laughs> so. And then I don't see her for a while. Yeah. No, um, you'll When the gardens, the only way I see her when her gardens are blooming blooming is if I come over to her house and pound on her studio door. She doesn't have to pound on the studio door. <laughs> it's a it's a key, keyless entry a lot. She knows the combination, so she can just come in anytime. Yeah, the place, <laughs> she just loads it up with flowers. We don't everywhere. even knock on each other's it's door. I just beautiful. walk in and you just walk in my house. Yeah, Marco's okay with it. I know. Well, and unless he's in his <laughs> underwear, <laughs> which I've seen a few times. <laughs> anyway. Is, it, was, is that all the things that you... That, that is everything on my list. So I have to write everything down because if I don't write it down, I can't remember. What else would you like to talk about? Well, we are sitting in front of our... our one-hour challenge. Our one-hour ch challenge. That's another, another thing that's coming soon. But we had so much fun. Yeah, we did. And we've been doing it since we had the gallery. Yeah, we've for years. We've been doing one-hour challenges for, for years. years. But we've never done side-by-side painting so that everybody can see, see how we're both approaching it at the same time that was a riot and that was really yeah fun. and we've posted it on the youtube and it's on the website and the comments coming back are so positive and thank you for those and saying like you know yeah. people are loving seeing the side by sides and not just being able to watch shanna's at one time and watch mine but watching the two of them um, develop side by side was everyone was saying we love that so because we're so different that it gives you permission to be different, different to do your own thing in fact that's just what art is all about is doing your own thing it would you know what really would be a challenge what is if you challenged me to paint like you and you challenge and i challenged you to paint like me it is impossible <laughs> that would it be is a, just impossible that would be a complete failure if i haven't learned realism after 30 years of painting I just don't know how it's going to happen. Uh, I, and I I love the way you see things. I do. I just like, gosh. You mean the way I make things up? <laughs> <laughs> well, you see. I yeah. invent. We're very different that way in the way in in, in everything that we paint. Yeah. Um, and and that's what's so wonderful. And you have your way of doing it, too. I think that's the beauty of art. Well, I wish I could invent more things like you. Yeah, well, I just wish I had more patience, but I don't. <laughs> so we are who we are. We are who we are. <laughs> anyway, the funny thing is we've, we've already had somebody offer to buy both paintings, and neither one of us want to sell them. Yeah, we're both a little on the attached side because yeah. it was such a great day. It was such a fun day. We don't get a chance to really paint together very often. Not not so not much. Not like we used to at yeah. the gallery. Um, so this was really fun. This was fun. So I think you're going to keep yours and make prints. Yeah, I'm going to make G clay prints. And um, one at a time. So it's not like there's going to be a mass order of them. But if you're interested in prints of either one of them yeah. let us know because we're i think we're going to do that for christmas and we, i think we're going to do we're going to do another one where i do the red ones and you do the the peach and, or a white yeah. one and so we can do the uh, the complete opposite another thing we want to talk about is we do offer a scholarship if you know somebody that you that loves to paint and you know that they just struggle monthly to month 
physically, financially, mm -hmm. let us know because giving back is really important to yeah. both of us. We've given out many, several, yes. many, many yeah. scholarships and we're happy to do it. Yeah, um, it's, it that's a, a really important thing to both of us. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know, we should probably just wish everybody a Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving in your single household. In your little house. With your masks on six feet apart. <laughs> this is hard for me. I usually am cooking for for a minimum of a yeah, dozen Yeah, you have people. a house full. You usually yeah. have a house full. This is going to be really different. And this year, it's just going to be me and my daughter, and we're going up to the cabin. That sounds like a great thing to do. Yeah. I'll but. have my parents over and my son. Yeah. And that's about... That's pretty I'll good, though. It. Yeah. So, if any of you are... Oh, 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 oh. Gift certificates. Oh. Um, we have gift certificates that if you know of anybody who would like to learn um, or start, you can get, buy a month of gift, gift yeah. certificates. Mm -hmm. We also have... We're building a way for people to be able to get some um, beginning brushes Yes, and so, um, some mediums. We got and some samples. We got a sample set of a brush set from a from a different company that are really reasonably priced. Oh my gosh, so, so inexpensive! inexpensive. You, they're cheaper than the ones that you would go in and buy in those little packages. I, I don't even know how they store, can sell them, but they're cheap. They're nice brushes. They're really nice brushes. They're not my Princeton brushes, but. That they're nice brushes. Yeah, they're nice brushes. Yeah, for the price. Yeah. Um, and some samples. And we're also going to get some color wheels and some value scales um, printouts. And Okay, so you've said it. You've told the universe know, that's what you're now doing. I've committed. Now you're committed. Hold me accountable. <laughs> we say these things and then six months down the road, we still haven't gotten them done. Yeah, it's usually me. No, it's both but. of us, but we just have so much to do. But um. Well, it's been enjoyable talking well so what was the final analysis of an online course did we come up with a final decision it is what you make of it and we're here for you um you are welcome to reach out to us you have both of our inspired to paint emails which we both answer mm -hmm. um we're both very readily available on social media unfortunately yeah. uh, that's probably the fastest way to get a hold of both of us. I'd rather have an email than a private message through Facebook or something. I would too, um, because I it gets flagged and put in a special right. folder for me. But we, we both are definitely available if you have questions or um, suggestions or ideas of fun things to do. We've got lots of them. We want to take it on the road someday. Oh, we're yes. gonna do. We're we're headed we're, to North Carolina because that's where both of our grandchildren are. Yeah, and we do. We're putting together some in-person workshops when this is all calmed down. Yes, too. So. All right. Well. Okay. Here's oh. our cheers. Oh. Cheers. 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 Happy Thanksgiving, Happy everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. Hope you have a great day. <laughs>